make sure that you install VS Code. Because if you're currently using Notepad, you're in a lot of pain and you don't even know it. The first mod that you want is Command Aliases. This one allows us to add aliases, who would have thought? So what that means, you can basically type one letter and it'll run a whole command. From in-game, it kind of works. Like R dash reload. And that means that now when you run a slash R, it'll run a slash reload. And that should generate this file if it doesn't already exist. So for me, I've added slash S, which makes game mode survival. Slash C, which will make me do game mode creative. And this one as well, that brings us to our next tip, which is doing slash CT and vanilla. So you can see that just copied Minecraft Poppy to my clipboard. So I just hit control V there. And so instead of typing out this three word command, instead I have set up slash H will do CT hand vanilla. That one's really useful. And you can see I also have a setup for CubeJS, which we can get into now. So CubeJS and Craft Tweaker together. These are the bread and butter for how mod packs are made. These allow you to easily edit recipes. So for example, some of the commands that these give lets you dump out a ton of things like all the attributes, items in the game, like everything you could want. And that brings us to our next tip, which is using the probe.js mod, which is also goes along with the extension probe.js in uh, Visual Studio Code. When you first start the game, it'll dump out everything in the game, there's some files, and it, then you'll get autocomplete within your QJS scripts. You can see it dumped all of these files here. Basically, you'll just get autocomplete when you run your script. Now with QJS, you can also do slash QJS hotbar. That'll give you a list of everything that's in your hotbar, which you can click to copy and then paste. I'll open a new tab in VS Code, and I can paste that in. And if we want to select all of this, what we can do, we need to search for this regex here. So basically, we're looking for a word, and then just keep looking for as many words or letters as you can. Then a colon, and then the same thing again. That'll find every instance of like mod name, colon, whatever block or item. So with this window selected, I'm going to use Alt F3 to select everything. And now I have all of those copied. And so I can use them all here. When you're making a script, if you have five instances selected, so for example, I have all of these instances here, then with Visual Studio Code, you can have multiple cursors. So since I copied all of those, now I can do that. So that's a very common thing that comes up. You have five instances that you want to copy into five different places. It's very helpful. And there's a lot of hotkeys you can add in with this. And similarly, you can do slash cube.js inventory to look at my inventory. Then it also gets the stack sizes, which you don't necessarily want. So in that case, you can use, you can just do this, registry names. And now if we go into the craft tweaker log file, edit links, and you can just copy all those items from here. So I hope you found these tips helpful. Let me know if you want to see more. Thanks for watching.